Hello and welcome to my channel on this uh, Sunday afternoon in South Carolina. I'm uh, just going to be unboxing a rigid vacuum cleaner blower system. And uh, this is one of the newer ones that came on the market. It is a model HD1600. And uh, let's see what this thing has in the box. I'm kind of excited because I never had a vacuum that was doubled as a blower. So we got a pipe with a quick release. So you can actually release the vacuum fairly quickly with these pipes, with these little releases on it. And you another piece right here, which I guess go together, and there's probably a little notched area to get together and stay together. It won't, won't come apart so you won't lose your pieces as you're doing your vacuuming. And you've got a wand for the blower. And I'll show you a little closer once I get this all unboxed. I should have set my table up so I can show, show you what I'm doing here. Here's, a, I guess, a piece that goes on the, the caddy for all your tools. So I'm put this over here. I'm in the process of renovating my garage and doing some renovating on the house. That's why I decided to buy this uh, beast of a vacuum because uh, I'm tired of using the house vacuum for everything. Oh, this thing's pretty heavy. Let's see. I said it's a rigid HD 1600. It's the NXT vacuum, which is the new model for 2019. Um, it's got a dual flex locking hose. It's got accessories that come with it. So you got a floor tool, you got a blower, you got a couple of small tools, and it actually works as a blower. So uh, you can blow all the stuff off your garage, or your lawn, or you drive your car with it. Whatever the case may be, I'm really looking forward to using this thing. Like I said. Um, See, we got what's inside the what's inside the vacuum. Let's see, it's gonna be a, instructions are not there. Instructions may be inside it. This is obviously the the cable cable management system for it. See, they don't really give you that's lock unlock. That's what takes the, the blower off, and you can hook the hose to the blower and use it as a blower. So I'm just going to set this down aside here, I don't know if you can see that or not. And then this comes apart. Now I'm not using any instructions, so here we go. We've got a, a clip over here. It says, oh, it's, it's a clip that way, a clip that way, and comes apart. It comes with the filter on it, already built, already on it for the dry vac for filter. There's a check valve you hear going back and forth for your wet pickup. I believe that's a dry pickup because if you want a wet pickup one, you have to get a different. It comes with four casters so you can attach it to the vacuum. I'm actually going to close this box up and use this box as a table. This video will probably come out really crappy, but you know what? You gotta start somewhere. I used to make videos back in the day on some other features, and I stopped. And uh, I want to kind of get back into it. So I got some painting I'm doing on my own. There's the hose. There's one of the attachments for the vacuum right there. I'm sure I'm gonna get. Another piece, another piece. That's probably for the wheels. It fell down. And now I get to the book. Uh, it comes with a registration, purchase, register your purchase online, which I will do because I've had some malfunctions with equipment and uh, it pays to register it because you can um, get replacement parts or have your device replaced. So I'm gonna. Pause the video right here while I assemble it and not bore you with the assembly part of it or uh, anything like that and I'll get back to you 
momentarily once it's all assembled. So I finished putting the back together. It took about 10, 15 minutes. The instructions are made pretty good. I mean, you can get everything put together. I haven't even turned it on yet because I'm, uh, I just just got it. So I'm gonna turn it on right now and uh, wanna see how it works. Actually, the hose, hose wraps are around. The, it's gonna keep it for the hose. It's gonna keep for all the attachments. I also picked up the car detail kit, which I'll uh, maybe get into in a different video. So basically, it's got, like I said, and I'll show you a little close up of it. It's got these little clips on here as you can see you turn it this way you can see the little clip on there and it just plugs right into the right into the uh, the vacuum and then you plug in your attachment you just take it off here and you plug it in here you actually line up the clip with the clip and then you put your attachment on to see we're vacuuming up the floor. I'm not gonna put the second one on because I'm just trying to get trying to try it. And you just that the right way, yeah, that's the right way. And then uh, do the cord, which has a cord keeper right on the blower attachment for it, so it's very, very easy. I'm just gonna unravel some of the cord so I can plug it in. really enticed about is the fact that it has a built-in blower attachment. Now, if I get the thing apart, put this back over here. Okay, and then I'll actually detach this from here and attach it to the blower portion. And then the blower comes right off in one piece. Let's put this on the ground. Should I put this on? I guess I gotta use the other. Okay, the hose, the hose one. Let's see. No. My bad. This one goes new to me. This is the blower one. It was that one, but I gotta check around with that one. You just take this and you pick it right up. And now I got the blower portion of it. And I got the handle right here. I got to hold this. It's a little heavy. Yeah, I mean, it's not gonna be a lightweight thing. I probably get a strap to it. It's actually pretty good. I need to get the long one on there so I get close to the ground. Of course, first day with the new device, it's always a little bit of a challenge. So that is the uh, rigid and HD 1600 vac blower combination. I'm gonna do a little more uh, sampling with it over the next uh, couple days and maybe I'll get back to you with some uh, some other information on it. I want to see about getting other pieces in here attached. Obviously, even then it's new. Um, I see I where I did wrong. I don't use the hose. I'm actually, now I got it. You actually just attach it there, and I guess you can turn it to lock it. 
There we go. Now we can hold down the ground. You can hear how loud that thing is and how much stuff it's making it before. It's actually picking the cardboard. It's actually picking the cardboard cardboard box up off the floor. I'm not sure how many cubic feet per minute this thing has for power, but it is um, a six and a half horsepower motor at a 16 gallon capacity for the water. So I'm, uh, I'm enthused. I'm looking to uh, use it to dry my car when I uh, wash my car in the spring and summertime. And I'm looking forward to using it to clean up debris as I do my cleanups around the house. I do my painting and construction coming up in the next couple of, couple of months. Cause I'm actually gonna be doing Gonna be actually doing some. Gonna actually be doing, if I could put my camera straight, here we go. Gonna actually be doing some painting and remodeling of my home, and I will uh, bring you along for the ride. Um, the first project will be um, painting a room above this garage, and I'm gonna be painting the ceiling, the walls, and all the woodwork, and we're getting new carpet installed. So I wanna show you the process that I go through going through and um, can I take you with me for the process because I want to document it just because it's something to do I made quite a few videos in the past on uh, other products and services and I'm no longer involved with and I really want to spend some time doing this it's uh, I think it's gonna be a fun hobby uh, for me to do and uh, show you all the different things I'm doing now I have in the past <laughs> Done some remodeling in my garage, making some room because I have two cars in the garage now. My son is uh, driving uh, his own vehicle and I have my own car as well. So I will be showing you uh, various things around my house, different projects I have that I'm working on in the house and also with my cars and with my family. And uh, I thank you for stopping by. If it's your first time stopping by and you like the video, leave a comment. Hit the thumbs up button. Okay, subscribe. Obviously, I want subscribers. And if I have some more subscribers, I can make videos pertaining to what they want me to make videos for. So I really thank you for stopping by and uh, have a great day.